Although India and Pakistan have been considered rivals, yet there were some crucial treaties and agreements which the both nations were following despite tensions. However, in recent years, that cooperation has been seen fading away. Now, India has achieved a significant milestone by completing the construction of the Shahpur Kandi Barrage, effectively halting the flow of Ravi River into Pakistan. According to several media reports, India, with development of this particular barrage, has got the key to stop Ravi's water that goes straight into Pakistan. This strategic move now allows India to harness the full potential of the water resource for the benefit of the farmers in Katwa and Samba district of the Jammu and Kashmir. The barrage diverts approximately 1150 cusacks of water destined previously for Pakistan for irrigation purpose now into Jammu and Kashmir. The project for years has faced numerous challenges of resistance before reaching the final completion. The project was initiated back in 1995 by the former Prime Minister P.V. Narsimha Rao. But dispute between the government of Jammu and Kashmir and Punjab halted the progress for over four and a half years. However, with the administration of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, he committed to optimize the water resource in 2016, reigniting the total effort to resolve the impasse. And so, nearly after the eight years, the barrage is ready to serve its purpose. However, as expected, the development has drew criticism with one major accusation that India has violated the Indus Water Treaty. However, no, that is not the case. Under the Indus Water Treaty that was signed back in 1960, India had the exclusive rights of the rivers Satlaj, Bias and Ravi River, while Pakistan got the access of Indus, Jhelum and Chenab River. The Shahpur Kandi Barrage enables India to fully utilize the allocated water resource, redirecting the water from old Lakhanpur Dam towards Jammu and Kashmir and Punjab. This achievement aligns with India's broader efforts to enhance the water management and agricultural productivity across India. Various water management projects, including the construction of storage facilities like the Bhakra Dam on the Satlaj Pong and Pando Dam on the Bias and Thane Ranjit Sagar on the Ravi, have been instrumental in maximizing the water utilization. Furthermore, initiatives like the Bias Satlaj Link and the Indira Gandhi Nagar project have facilitated the utilization of nearly 95% of India's share of the water from the eastern rivers. These endeavors underscores India's commitment to effectively manage the water resourcing while ensuring the welfare of farmers. However, concerns have been raised about the potential implications for the Indus Water Treaty and Pakistan may perceive the action as a violation of the agreement. Despite these concerns, India maintains its stance on utilizing the rightful share of the water to address the agricultural needs of the region. As India continues to prioritize water management and agriculture development, the completion of the Shahpur Kandi marks a significant step in this endeavor. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.